So I have, a, I have a roommate. You do? Her name's Shelby. She's right there. Okay. And I like it when she s watches me film because it. I feel like I, having a live audience helps out a lot. <laughs> and it's currently almost 2 a.m. And I was like, stay awake. Just watch me film. I want you to be there. And my commitment. She <laughs> just looked at me so tired. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm <laughs> sorry. It's just my face. I have a tired face. We all do this. I put makeup on. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, what's up? It's Ricky. It's Ricky. Yes. <laughs> Thank you so much. I know you're all typing below. Where is that awesome shirt from? Thank you. I know. It's great. It's actually from my own merch store. <laughs> I have my oh. own merch store. Amazon.com slash Ricky Dillon. And they come in different. Oh yeah. And they come in different colors. See the shirt I'm wearing? <laughs> do you want it in gray? Well, oh, hello. You can get that too. Do you like this design? Let's try again. That landed in the oven. Sh do you, oh, you like this design but don't want it on a shirt? <laughs> well, don't fret, because they all come in pop pockets as well. But did you say if you don't wear shirts? If you don't wear shirts, let's get a pop socket. If you need two pasties to cover up. <laughs> Can I have my shirt back? Yeah, I gotta get this video started. Buy my merch. This guy did a video that I thought was hilarious and then it became a trend and I've watched others and I love it. Basically, Ryan Trahan, if I pronounced that wrong, sorry Ryan, but what he did was he sat there and DM'd 100 celebrities and waited and hoped they'd reply and he showed the replies and it was a really funny video. <laughs> What's hilarious is I've been doing this for years, you guys. <laughs> really has. Like this is a fun video trying to hop on, but I've been doing this privately for like five years. This is very I send, I send celebrity DM. I send celebrities DMs a lot. Usually when I'm a little tipsy and I'm playing like their music, it'll all just DM them. So I thought this was a very great trend that I could hop on because I just naturally do it. So I'm just gonna do it on camera now. Hey Sylvia, what about I was gonna like? So, oh, first of all, I have been uploading every single Friday, if y'all didn't know, every Friday, new video. I need a haircut really bad. Yeah, I didn't mean to tell you. Whoa. I'm gonna try, aim for 100, but I'm gonna do my best. I might get cut off before then. Ooh, Will Smith. He's on my list. It's time to slide in these DMs. I'm ready to jump in the... She just kicked... I have a bowl of cereal in my hand. She kicked my light. I, I, just, I just almost got crushed by a light. Final destination? <laughs> I want to see a funny DM or hear a funny DM. <sighs> my most embarrassing ones are to Britney Spears. Do that one. Did she um, ever answer? No. So in July of 2015. Oh my god, okay. I DM'd her in all caps. OMG girl, I'm drinking to toxic right now. My body is being filled with toxic as I listen to toxic. Slay me. <laughs> I'm starting this video off at rock bottom. I can only go <laughs> up from here. What do you want these to be? Like funny and quirky or like what? Uh, I want them to be funny. This is a comedy channel. Is it? <laughs> I'm just kidding. I need to go into rapid fire mode. Yeah, you do. That was the warm up just to get some good Shelby commentary. Now we're going to go into rapid fire. You have zero good commentary. All right. How about we start with Kris Jenner? I idolize Kris Jenner. I think she's just like the epitome, epitome, epitome of like a businesswoman. Hate her or love her. She's, she's secure in that bag. Hey mom, you're iconic. I was wondering if I could be on an episode of Keeping Up with the Kardashians. So starting off strong here. I need a reason for her to say yes. <gasps> I have a pet pig. Would bring great ratings to the show. All right. Ricky editing, remind yourself to get a haircut. Next, we're gonna do Sean Mendez. Love Sean. What do I DM Sean? What is this? How about I DM Sean asking for workout advice so I can look like this? Hey King, love the new tune. Can you teach me how to get ripped? Would love the help. Uh. I almost like don't want them to reply because they're pretty embarrassing. But I feel like if they're just like wacky enough, it's a better chance that they will reply. Okay, next we're going to do Zendaya. Hey girl, you're amazing. Shake it up, changed my life. The greatest showman made me a better man. How does it feel to be a legendary icon in the MCU? 
Replay is a timeless bop. When can we expect a new album? What? Am I going too much with this? That was a lot. I just kind of like showered her with compliments. She's going to read this like... I'm going to send it. Because, you know, Zendaya makes great music. And she like dropped an album, had some bops on it, was like, yeah, I told y'all, and then kind of vanished from music. And hey, hello, girl, we want some more. Okay, I feel like I should start being a little more realistic. <laughs> These so far are ones that I feel like would most likely be ignored. How about we go to Belle Thorne? Hey, queen. Can we collab? <laughs> what if she's just like, yeah, let's do it. Ryan Reynolds, I have to let you know how incredible of a job you did as the one, the only, the most iconic character of all time, Pikachu. Wow. Thank you. <gasps> I'm gonna DM RuPaul and ask if I can be a guest judge on RuPaul's Drag Race. Obsessed with you and Drag Race. Would love it if I could be a guest judge one day or just part of the crew. <laughs> just wanna be there. You never know. <gasps> I'm gonna DM Katy Perry because I am obsessed with her new song. It's so good. I'm gonna DM Katie just a nice simple message. You know, just your everyday. Just because it's over doesn't mean it's really over and if I think it's over, you're, maybe you'll be coming over again enough to get all over you all over again. You know, those are lyrics to her new song if you didn't, if you didn't know. <gasps> why don't we? <clears throat> okay, I'm gonna DM Why Don't We, who I love. I stand them. If y'all ever need a trumpet player, I'm your guy. <laughs> Why am I doing this video? I feel like they might see that and be like, what is it? Hilary Duff, my childhood queen, my everything. This is what dreams are made of. I have to DM her. Um, Hilary Duff, Hilary Duff. Hilary Duff, where do I begin? You shaped my childhood. You made me who I am today. Just wanted to say thank you. Okay, here we go. Have to DM Tom Holland, the icon, the legend, Spider-Man himself. Okay, but what do I, what do I say? Because if the, the off chance he sees this, it can't be embarrassing. That was a neat pop. Did you hear that? Yo, just wanted to let you know that you are the best portrayal of Spider-Man we've ever seen. No one's gonna answer. I have to do something that would answer. Who would answer? Look at that. Yo, I'm not picking my nose, I have a scratch right here. Charlie Puth. So if y'all did not know, Charlie Puth unfollowed me. <laughs> but he produced my first two songs, Ordinary Nobody, and my cover to Really Don't Care. And we go way back. We go back to like 2011, 2012 maybe. We've been, we were YouTube friends way before he became a pop star. And he made the O2L song. Yeah, he was my first music producer. And we, you know, he's a legendary international pop sensation now, so we don't talk much anymore. But we catch up every now and then. But I just found out he unfollowed me on Instagram and deleted all of his posts. So is he even gonna reply? Well, I DM'd him last summer and didn't get a reply. Tried. <laughs> Try texting you, but it looks like you changed numbers. Miss ya. Let's play Mario Kart soon. <sighs> so, I just recorded a bunch of those DMs on one screen recording, and when I finished, it said it failed. <sighs> so, thank you, Apple, for ruining my video. So, those were all screenshots. Sorry about that. But moving on. Okay, I... I need to start doing people that would actually reply. Zach, <coughs> Zach Efron. I have to send a message because he is a YouTuber now apparently, and you know what? I would love to collab with him. Hey, uh, Zacho, saw you started a YouTube channel. Let's collab. Miley, your Black Mirror episode changed my life. Thank you. Tom Ellis, who plays Lucifer. Hey, devil. He plays the devil in a show. I feel like Camila could reply. 
I can play a man on the trumpet very well. If you ever need a trumpeteer, I'm your guy. I really can. Ross Lynch. You know what? Just like, nice work. <laughs> Everything he does is great. Just nice work. Jazz, <laughs> I'm gonna DM da Jasmine Masters, who is the queen behind the meme. And I oop. You know, and I oop. And I have def <laughs> definitely um, overdone that meme. I walk around the house yelling it. Sorry, Shelby. But she is iconic besides that. She's a really funny drag queen. When was the last time you ooped? I want to know. Moving on. We are going to go over to Miss Ariana Grande. Obsessed with her. Hey, queen. Love you the most. You know what? Ariana likes Pokemon. What is your fave Pokemon? China Ann McLean herself, the legend who brought us the bop, Calling All the Monsters, my Halloween jam. Can we sing Calling All the Monsters together one day? I need it. Colton Haynes, Colton, okay, I have a quick story. So, Colton Haynes, I think Colton Haynes and I are friends in Pokemon Go. He tweeted one time about Pokemon Go, and I replied, and I said, oh my god, add me, and I put my friend code, and within a few minutes, I someone named Colton added me on Pokemon Go. Now, yes, it could have been another Colton in the world that saw, my, saw the reply, but it was a high-level account. It was within minutes of me tweeting Colton, and you know, I'm just going to sit here and say that it's him. Colton Haynes added me on Pokemon Go. Now, the 5% chance I'm wrong, and this is just some other Colton out there, you got me. You saw my tweet to Colton and you were like, I'm gonna mess him up and make him think, ooh, he's making that shiny. And make him think that this is actually Colton Haynes. But I bet it is, it has to be. No, no one would do that. Look, it has to be him. Did he, he got a shiny Steelix? To me and Colton Haynes are ultra friends. So, he'll reply to me, he has to. Thank you for adding me on Pokemon Go. I can't wait till we are best friends. Let's go hunting for shinies together one day. You know, the chance that this is a completely different Colton <coughs> and then he sees this will be so embarrassing. He'll be like, I ain't gonna get a restraining order. But the chance that it is him, like who knows? Next week's video, play Pokemon Go with Hol Colton Haynes. It could happen. I want to DM Kesha. I love her. I used to make music videos for her songs like eight years ago. Like, I'm talking like 2010. I made like several music videos to her music. Here's an example. Just wanted to let you know your music helped start my YouTube channel. It did. I'm gonna give her. I am gonna link one of them. And just the off chance she sees it. Well, imagine she sees one of these. I'm gonna send Disgusting because it's copyright free because it's like a demo. And you know, I don't wanna get matched right here. Look at what I made. 2010. You never know. How about Uno Dawson? He's a celebrity, he's a celebrity dog. Bark. Paris Hilton, I feel like would reply. You know, okay, Paris Hilton has made some bops. Stars are blind, screwed, nothing in this world, like bops for days. So you know what? Queen of pop, screwed, and nothing in this world are timeless bops. Thank you for them. What, like no one's gonna reply. Just to make me feel better, I wanna DM Daniel from Why Don't We? Cause I do know him on a personal level. We've hung out a few times. He's great, he's amazing, I love him. Just to make myself feel better, I feel like he will reply, so I'll just send that. I am obsessed with Unbelievable, which is their one of the new songs. Okay, so I went through everybody that I follow on Instagram and did some here and there, but I wanted to do something that were like a little more random. Like random in the sense that like I just wouldn't think of them up top of my head. You know, people like Howie Mandel more random. The ones I have maybe more of a chance of getting a reply from, because you know, I want to get at least one reply here. So I tweeted for you guys to send me some, and you did. Thank you for that. So I'm just gonna go through. Let's see. Let's go. Um, like Mariana Cosgrove? I mean, I feel like she's, she's pretty up there, but I just need to let her know that I currently changed my life. So I gotta DM her.
Um, do y'all see that? Follow back? Um, okay, well, let me follow her back. <laughs> tearing up. Hey queen, thanks for following me. I currently changed my, I can't type. I'm like stressing out. I currently changed my life and your music is legendary. Cause girl, her music is legendary. Dancing crazy, high maintenance. She had bops for days, we know. Oh, what was that one that was bum bum, bum bum, bum bum. Bam, bam, bam is a bop. Girl, Oh, I can't, like, what? I'm, what What kind of plot twist was that? <laughs> Are you kidding me right now? All right, anyway, I, I calm myself down over that. Love you, Miranda. Someone said to do Jerry Trainer from iCarly, who plays Spencer. While we're already on the iCarly train, you know, might as well. You are a legend. <gasps> the big time, <clears throat> the big time rush boys. All right, here we go. Who should I DM? How about Carlos? Are we ever gonna get a big time rush reunion? Because we all want it. If, it, if any of these reply so far, I hope he does. And I hope he says, yeah, it's coming. Aaron Carter. I feel like Aaron Carter might reply to me. Y'all, Aaron Carter was my childhood. It was one of my first albums I ever bought. I have Aaron's party memorized. I do, I know every lyric. Just want to let him know. I also made a video to it in 2009. Aaron, if you copyright claim that, I swear. The dad from Good Luck Charlie? Bob Duncan? The dad of dads? First of all, what is his actual name? Bob Duncan, real name. Eric Allen Kramer. Hope he has Instagram. Crazy. <sighs> That's not him. He's on Instagram. He's too busy being a dad. You know what? Why don't we just DM one of the Cheetah Girls? We'll do some more, but let's start with Raven Simone. Raven Simone. Oh snap. Um, just like, you know, Queen of Disney Channel. Let's just give her the praise she deserves. Sabrina Bryan, you know, the Queen of Dance. I bet she'll reply. Queen. <sighs> oh my god, look at her! Look at her! was just listening to Cheetah Girls music the other day. This isn't a lie, I, you know, I really was. Just wanted to let you know that you're iconic. Girl. Step Up by the Cheetah Girls is a bop. And Sabrina Bryan starts it off and slays it. She knows what she's doing. Brenda Song, London Tipton herself. Look at her, oh my god. Queen, oh, pass the plate. No matter how big the world might seem, we all come together when we pass the plate. Pass the plate. <laughs> Do y'all remember that? Am I just speaking out of nothing here? Let's see what she says. Guy, what's his name, Guy Ferrari? Guy Ferrari, okay. He'll answer me, come on, come on, Guy. Hey, Guy, can we? do a cooking video together for my YouTube channel. I hope he replies. Imagine me doing a video with Guy Ferrari, Ferrari, Guy Fieri. Guy, Guy Fieri. That's it. Guy Fieri. Michelle Obama. Hey, hey queen. queen. Girl, you, you have, have done, done it, it again. again. Constantly raising the bar for us all and doing it flawlessly. I would say a surprise, but I don't know who you are. I hate that I have that memorized. <laughs> Hey queen, girl, you have done it again. Constantly raising the bar. Y'all didn't hear that. Michelle, put that on a shirt and sell it, I'll buy. Oh, I'm so annoying. <laughs> Will Smith, you know, he's a YouTuber now. I'm gonna ask Will Smith to collab. Half this video is me just asking celebrities to collab. Hey, <laughs> let's collaborate. <laughs> what is Jason Earls up to? The brother from Hannah Montana, Jackson? Real Duke of Earls. Look at him. Legend. Hey, legend. That's it. Okay, I DM'd why don't we? I also want to DM pretty much because I love them. Those two boy bands right now, they're killing it. Love them both. So I'm going to DM pretty much. Pretty much. Pretty much. 
They follow me. I didn't know that. What? I need to check my DMs more. I guess like their manager. They asked, they asked, they want to do an escape room together? Um, the answer is yes. I was literally, jokingly, gonna DM them and be like, let's collab. But they asked to collab. I'm only two months late. <laughs> but yes. Oh my god, I'm so sorry I'm late. I would love to do a video with the guys. Big fan. Because <laughs> I am. Huh. Okay, I don't know where, how many I'm at or where I'm at, but I've done a lot. I've been sitting there for hours <laughs> doing this. I'm gonna go to bed now and give this a full 24 hours and hopefully I have at least one reply. We will find out in a couple seconds. Hello everyone. So it has been exactly 24 hours since I filmed sending the messages and yes, this is still Ricky. I know I look different. No, Ricky didn't leave and this isn't a an imposter. I just didn't feel like doing makeup for this part because it's gonna be pretty short and you'll see why in a second. So if I look tired and pale, it's just because I'm not wearing makeup. But this is the real me. I patiently waited around for these celebrities to reply to my DMs that I sent them and didn't get many, but <laughs> what? I'm freaking out of her. I'm gonna, I'm gonna edit, I'm gonna beep that so you don't ruin it. She's excited about one of, one of the few replies I got. So, after 24 hours of, of waiting around and hoping and like praying and like manifesting as much power as I could into the world, I got three. And a half. And a half replies. <laughs> which, you know, isn't that bad. But, w one of these conversations is actually incredible and I'm excited to end the video with it. I'm so, we're gonna. Speaking out! So, make sure you guys watch till the end. Because we're gonna have a good finale and she's excited about it. I'm pumped! So, yeah, I ended up DMing like, I think close to 50. Well, the average is like four, three or four replies out of 100. Yeah, so it's not that bad, you know? It's not that bad! I wanted at least a few and I got a few, so we're good. You know, Ariana Grande did it in for me, you know, no uh, Miley. No Sabrina Bryan from the Cheetah Girls? Come on! She's busy, she just told her. She's, she's a mom. She's tucking her kids into bed. Guy F Fieri, I wanted to do a cookie video with him. He didn't answer me. Michelle Obama, girl, you have not done it again. <laughs> <laughs> but whatever, we're not gonna dwell on what didn't happen. We're gonna focus on the things that did happen. So let's start with Jasmine Masters, the queen of the memes. The queen of and I oop. She has more than just that, you know, by the way. I know. I'm glad she's blowing up. I want her to be known more than just and I oop. That's just helping her get more excited. I'm not helping this situation with no, what not. I DM'd her. I said, when was the last time you ooped? <laughs> I'm not helping her. I'm not. You turned oop into a verb. <laughs> she was the first to answer. She said, I asked her, when was the last time you ooped? And she said, five seconds ago, LOL. Very cute. At around 4.29 a.m. she was ooping. Yeah. And then I was like, haha, I love you. Hope you're doing well. I had to like bring that back around to sanity, you know? Yeah, bring it back in. Yeah. So, and then she was like, I am love, thanks, hope the same for you. Sweetheart. I love her. Jasmine Masters deserves the, be deserves the best, and I did meet her at DragCon, and she was a sweetheart, and I did embarrassingly enough ask her to do and I oop with her, and it went viral. So, uh, ask people to do things. <laughs> and I oop. <laughs> no one answered for a long time, but thankfully, Daniel from I Don't Me swooped in and answered. I told him that I'm obsessed with their new song, Unbelievable, and he said, What's up, boss? Thank you. I've only ever heard good things. I he's great, and yeah, them. and he's really talented, and he made this video not a flop, so thank you, Daniel, for replying to me. <laughs> <laughs> His charity work for the day. So, I thought that's all I had, because someone else left me on red. Hey guys, update from Ricky editing. I'm gross right now, so I'm hiding. But um, Paris Hilton actually replied, like last minute, literally as I was editing. So here's what she said. She just said, thank you, real sweet. And then she went and liked one of my photos. So a legend. Here's the, here's the finale. This is, what, this is what like saved the video. Not that it wasn't gonna be good. Like I'm still gonna upload it because it's funny. But the fact that this happened, like- I'm freaking out. Okay. I'm freaking oh. out. All right, at first I thought this person left me on red because I woke up after filming it and was checking all these DMs. I was getting 
getting ready for bed and I was like winding down and I'm like wired. I'm so excited. She's pumped for this. This person was her first concert ever. Ever. I was like nine. And I was a big fan of this person growing up as well. So this person had left me on red and I was sad about it but I was like you know I can make a funny joke out of it. They ghosted me left me on red whatever. But then like five hours later this person replied. <laughs> so the person I'm talking about is <laughs> Aaron Carter. <laughs> Yeah, so I, my DM to him was that I have Aaron's, Aaron's party memorized. And this is the screenshot I had prepared to show you guys when, of him ghosting me. And we just, we were, me and Chad were cracking up over it because like, <laughs> I have Aaron's party, <laughs> I have Aaron's party memorized. He's, he's probably like, okay. All right. <laughs> That's weird. <laughs> but, but five hours later, he was sitting down eating dinner and he was like, you know what? He has Aaron's party memorized. I should reply. I should, I should, I should, I should reply him. and offer him a free shirt. So he replied and said, you need an Aaron's Party tee, and he put a picture of this iconic t-shirt with the Aaron's Party Come Get It album artwork. Let's remake it with Aaron. Okay. Aaron Carter, if you're watching this, I would love to do a video with you. Me and Shelby did a video to your, your song, Aaron's Party, 2009. Ten, ten years ago. Daddy, come to my own day. I'm in trouble. Everybody get out now. I'm the devil. I'm gay. That's it for me. I'm gonna be picked off my family tree. Let's do a decade anniversary reunion and have you in it. Yeah. We'd love, we'd want to recreate it and have you in it. Yeah, so let me continue the story, so the DM. So I was like, ah, oh, yes, I need that, it's iconic. Then he said, if you want, send me your size and contact details, I'll have my management get you one out. But Aaron Carter asked my address. <laughs> and I was like, and then Ricky texted me and goes, hey, can I give Aaron Carter our address? <laughs> and he was like, I can't believe I just sent that. I gave my address, my shirt size, and I said, I'm gonna wear it in a video. He said, bet. And he said, I'll have it shipped out tomorrow. Imagine if I had gotten it like in time to film this part. Imagine like that. Yes, you are. That would be the ultimate finale. Dang it. I'll wear it next video. And then, and then, here's the, here's the climax. He said, I have a show Sunday at the Whiskey, which is in LA, come through. So Aaron Carter invited me to his concert. Ah! And I told Shelby like an hour ago, and she freaked out. I like stopped in my tracks so like, <laughs> I couldn't move or breathe. I just like stopped and I was like. <gasps> her first concert, her childhood icon. Mind. I mean, like, I loved him, too. I've probably listened to his music more than anyone else's music in the world. Honestly. Really? Like, on mine's repeat, probably Mine's constantly. probably Britney, but when I was growing up, Aaron was up there. And hey, hey, he has released some bops recently. Yes. His last EP or whatever. So good. Honestly, I'm going to give him a, pro a promo plug because he was really nice to me and gave me good content for the video. So thanks, Aaron. I'm going to give you some promo. Sooner or Later was really good and Fool's Gold. The album was called Love. Sooner or later is my favorite. There was one more I loved. Joey Depart, I think. Yes. So good. I gotta wrap this up. All right, I just double checked all the DMs and nobody else read them or opened them or anything. That's it. If y'all liked this, then thumbs up. I could do more of these. We're doing this every week. <laughs> Maybe comment below some like more random celebrities I can do. But Shelby's, <laughs> her mouth's open. She's still sugar for Aaron. We're gonna go plan our concert outfits. Oh my god. Uh, buy my merch. See ya. Bye! Amazon.com.